how do you become more confident? Everyone always says, hey, be more confident about yourself. Hey, do this, hey, do that. But again, sometimes it's not just a one size fits all trick. Sometimes it is kind of hard to build your confidence. But here are some ways that you can actually build your confidence and actually one by one notice the confidence changing in your environment. Everyone always says, hey, be more confident. Hey, confidence is key. Confidence is everything. But they don't really talk about how to actually become more confident and the steps needed to become a more confident individual. Obviously, we all know the more confident you are, the better you are going to be at so many different tactics of life. Your personal life will be more confident in talking to people, interacting with others, being yourself no matter what environment you're within. It'll be better in your job and career because if you're confident about your abilities, you'll do better in your job. You'll do better in your career. You'll be able to be more successful because you are confident about your abilities. Confidence is having a belief or really believing in what's going to happen, the outcome, what you're going to do. That is what confidence is. So then in turn, to have confidence means to be knowledgeable, it means to have experience, it means to have a skill set that allows you to be confident. Sometimes there is such thing as blind confidence where people just are just confident individuals. But if you have skill sets that can help being more confident. One way to be more confident is understanding the first thing is having skill sets. Yes, we know people are blindly confident, but when you have a skill set, you'll be able to be more confident regardless because you have put in the hours, you put in the grind, the work to have a certain skill set. You'll be able to respond because you've done hours and hours and hours of reading and work. For example, if someone asked me, hey, how do I kick a soccer ball into a goal? Because I've played hours of soccer, I'd be able to be like, hey, this is how it's done. I have the confidence to be able to teach someone, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. And the same thing goes when you're playing the game. You've played so much, so you know how to play the game. You've seen this drill before. You've seen this routine before. You know what to do. You know the drill. That's, again, a way to boost your confidence and to become more confident in yourself. But again, it's all not just dandy of having skill sets. You can have all the skill sets you want, but sometimes people are so wildly talented but don't have the confidence to show off their talents. They don't have the confidence to be able to be who they really are and why. Because sometimes it's hard. We're all not built the same. Sometimes some people are blindly confident, like we were saying before. But sometimes people have all the talent in the world, but don't have that it factor to be as confident as they want to be. So in this video, I actually really want to focus and talk about how to actually bring that confidence out of you. The number one thing that I've noticed that helps so many people is understanding that you're going to make mistakes. You're going to look silly. You're going to have people doubting you. That's always going to happen no matter how talented you are or untalented you are. So if you already know the outcome, just do it anyways. And just be in the active habit of doing it no matter what. And believing in yourself. Even if you're wrong, right? We always laugh about the kid who raises their hand in class and just shouts out the random number and he's wrong. But that kid is confident enough to be wrong. Being wrong is okay. Making mistakes is okay. So understanding that's the first step is knowing that you could be wrong. No matter how talented or non-talented you are, you could be wrong. And that's okay. For example, if I'm running around and running around and I know that this is a good play, I'm going to pass the ball this way, but it was the wrong pass. It's okay. It shouldn't knock me the next time to make that next pass, to make a really tough pass. But understand that you have to keep trying. And if you don't give up, you won't ever fail. Think about that. If you never give up, you will never fail. Never give up. Keep doing what you do. And in turn, it's going to boost your confidence and your self-esteem. Another way is when you want to be more confident, make promises to yourself. For example, I want to wake up at 6 in the morning and hit the gym. Every single day, I tell myself I want to wake up at 6 in the morning and hit the gym and I don't do it. I'm going to lose confidence with myself. I'm going to lose self-esteem with myself. Why? Because I'm breaking promises to myself. I'm not following through on what I said I would do. And in turn, it lowers your confidence. So if you want to boost your confidence, make promises to yourself that you can keep. For example, start slow. Don't make it super complicated. Say things like, I'm going to make my bed a second I wake up in the morning. Hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to drink eight glasses of water. Whatever it is, make it based upon what you want in your life. But the more and more you complete these tasks, the more confident you're going to be about your abilities. The more confident you're going to be about who you are as an individual. And again, that's even without having skill sets but just in turn fixing the way you see yourself. And again, that is where confidence comes from. It's your self-esteem, it's how you feel about yourself. Another way is to have positive visualization skills. See yourself succeeding, understand that you can do it, that you have done it, and you have this mental cog in your brain that's just going, going, and going, going about you doing the right thing, you doing it the way it's supposed to go. Imagine success, don't imagine the failures. He who see it says I can, I can't are the same thing. They both are right. Why? Because you have to believe in your abilities, believe in yourself. 
even if nobody believes in you, you have to go 100%. And that is, again, how you're going to boost that confidence up. A big, big thing that people always talk about is I'm not confident in speaking to someone outside of the people in my close circle. I'm really cautious and worried to say the wrong thing or make a fool out of myself. And the more and more you just talk to people, interact with people, the better you'll get. So if you never actually take the chance of maybe making a mistake, being embarrassed, we've all been there, where we say something to someone and we think, I just, now we're never gonna be friends. I just made the worst first impression. That's okay, it happens. Understand that that's just gonna be a learning lesson, learning lesson, learning lesson, until you get to the point where no matter who you meet, you're being yourself, you're flowing. And then you're gonna attract the right people to you because again, you're being yourself wholeheartedly. This is a good way to build your confidence and build your self-esteem. They go hand in hand. And the more confidence you have, and the more ability you have within yourself and security of yourself that you have, the more confident you're gonna seem to other people. And hey, everyone does things that are hard. For a good example, I remember having to go on stage and talk about a product that I was basically working on for the last four years of my life. And I'm sitting there talking and my heart was literally in my neck and I couldn't stop shaking internally. But when I asked a friend, I was like, hey, like, was I nervous? Then I looked bad, was my voice shaky? He was like, no, dude, you sounded really confident and smooth. So you might internally feel really nervous and shaky and scared, but at the end of the day, we all feel it. We all feel scared. We all feel this feeling of, oh, I could say something wrong. I could really mess up. But on the outside, we're not really coming off that way. So again, really believe in yourself and understand that to have confidence, you have to be okay with making mistakes, but building that skill set. And then when you build that skill set, or if you don't have that skill set, it won't matter if you don't actually apply that skill set that you have. Again, you're a talented person, you have the ability, you watch the video to want to know, hey, how do I boost my confidence? How do I talk to people? How do I do this? And know that first and foremost that you can do it. You already have the skills to do it. It just requires you not to be afraid of failing. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share it to all your friends. And again, leave in the comments down below things that kind of helped you boost your confidence and things that you might be struggling with. I love talking to you guys. I love actually interacting and having dialogue with people because again, this is a life skill that sometimes is really hard for us to learn and learn how to basically manage and do. So again, please feel free to comment about it. I'm sure to respond to as many comments as I can. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. See you later.